Through lead investigator Brigadier Bongani Genita's affidavit, it states that accused um, the cross-examination of the lead investigator in the Senzo Miwa murder case is continuing in the High Court in Pretoria today. Brigadier Bongani Genita has been testifying in the trial within a trial as the defence team challenges the admissibility of confession statements of some of the accused. Well, with a statement that Genita read revealed that one of the accused, Bongani Ntanzi, was the gun supplier and the hitman. Five men are on trial for gunning down the Bofana Bofana captain back in October of 2014. Well, let's take you live to the Pretoria High Court. A bag full of money. Communication records between her and her sister shows that as early as 2013, she wanted to get rid of the deceased as she puts it. It is apparently clear that she hated him and wanted to get rid of him. She further states that she regrets not succeeding to get rid of him before. Taking into account all these facts, an inference can be drawn that she meant killing him. Cell phone record shows that after the incident took, after the incident took uh, suppose place, she phoned a number of a number of people from 082703435 number. Um, but no call was made to emergency services. She also subsequently went to the witch doctor for cleansing, as was also done by the other accused in this matter. The statement of Ms. Mkise, who is an expert in this matter, clearly indicates that this is normally or how it, this is, this is not normally or how it should be done, especially in one, if one is innocent. Evidence by means of a son collaborating an independent witness statement established a casual link between the offenders and the offenses of murder, robbery and aggravating circumstances, possession of unlicensed firearm and unlawful possession of ammunition and conspiracy to commit murder. Ms. Kelly Kumalo seems to be the trigger point of this murder. Then paragraph five, my lord, which is the last one, is basically the oath and I signed, it was commissioned on 2020, November the 20th. According to you, uh, Brigadier, is there any power of attorney that was furnished by Mr. Ntriaku? I, my lord, I don't think I have authority to ask him to show me the power of attorney. When I met him on the 23rd, the first time, 23rd of June, after I was informed that there's a gentleman who is saying he's an attorney who accused number two, I don't know how they communicated. I went there, my instruction, and I've said this in evidence in chief, my lord, that I said they must allow him, despite the COVID regulation, because it was a legal visit. I arrived, he identified himself, gave me proof from the LPC, which I verified and later we are scheduled confirmation from people. Other than that, my lord, I don't think I could have taken it any further. I don't think I have authority to say, give me the power of attend. All I wanted to know was to confirm when I arrived, if he was legally, if, if he was indeed an attorney, that was confirmed. And subsequent to the proceeding that followed, I was convinced he was an attorney, my lord, because like I said, he appeared numerous times on this matter from the, from the time of its inception and subsequently in Pukeng as well, my lord. And then thirdly, the discussions in terms of section 105 with the state and with the advocate that he appointed at that time, my lord. You don't, you don't want to disclose the advocate? As lead investigator in the Senzo Miwa murder case, Brigadier Bongani Genita has read a statement in which one of the accused, Muzi Sibia, implicates singer Kelly Kumalo as being the person who ordered the killing of Senzo Miwa. Kumalo was uh, Miwa's girlfriend at the time. Genita has been reading a statement as requested by defense counsel Tolani Gomezulu, who represents accused one and two in the matter. Sibia revealed that Kumalo paid and ordered the hit. According to the affidavit, accused number one, Muzi Sibia implicated Kumalo as being the person who ordered me was killing. It further states that there were cell phone linkages, linkages rather, between Kumalo and accused number three and five as well. Genida's cross-examination is continuing in the High Court in Pretoria. The lead investigator, Genida, has been on the stand as the defense team challenges the admissibility of confession statements of some of the accused. A witness statement that Genida read revealed that one of the accused, Bongani Ntanzi, was the gun supplier and the hitman. Of five men on trial for gunning down the Bafana Bafana captain back in October of 2014.